Okay, hey guys, for this video I'm going to be showing you how to get the most powerful weapon in Skyrim. Um, I don't know if I'll fit this all into one episode, so it might be a part one and two little series. Um, it's very, like, quite a tedious process. So I don't expect it to be like just a ten minute thing for you to do. Alright, um, first of all you're going to need to be a hundred in smithing and enchanting. Um, an easy way to do that is to come here to the College of Winterhold and go into the Archmage's quarters. When you get in there you're going to want to steal the soul gems so you're gonna run over here, he sits in that chair jump on here, no, jump on here crouch, steal the soul gems I'm only gonna get that one from there and there's a grand one there they're the best two but you need to take all of them because well you're not a hundred on enchanting and then you're gonna run down here and then you're gonna run down again and you're gonna leave um, there's two other halls in this building when you, you want to go in the other halls and just in the rooms there's just um, soul gems lying around you'll see them all and it's, they're not hard to find at all, it's just them ones that you might not find so yeah, the others are through that. no, they're not they, yeah they are, they're through there anyway um, so yeah once you've found all your soul gems you're gonna want to then find a load of iron ingots and an easy way to find them I've put, I've got some well there's some mines but there's also some stashes and I'll show you where the stashes are if I can remember so long since I've done this. Alright, go to Stone Hills, which I'll show you where that is when I get there. Because this this is probably the best iron ingot stash on the game. And that is a funny looking cow. A bull, or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, when you get here, well, it is here. Um it's just across from Marthal, near the mountains. When you get here, you're going to want to run forward, and there's a house here. You want to go in the house, and there should be a lot of ingots in this house. Yeah, they're all here, so you steal all of them, steal all four of them, ours. Come over here and steal all of them. So there's a lot there. Um, I'll show you where the rest are because there's a few more. When you come out of the house, you want to run to the right. And by the smelter, there is some. There's some there. And there are some in the crate at the side. I'm not picking them up because I don't need them for anything but you will then if you fast forward to Riverwood um, you'll be able to find two more stashes which as long as you spot to Alvior or whatever he's called right at the beginning of the game you'll be able to just take and you won't even have to steal them so that's good um, where? yeah I'll show you where these ones are when it spawns I right, want to run to this blacksmith's. And you want to take. Well, you could, I'd leave the steel if I was you. But I'd take all of the iron. All five of them. Um, there is another stash in Riften. I'm not going to go because I haven't found it, I don't think. Oh, I have. Oh well. I'm not going to go. In Riften, there's a blacksmith's. And downstairs in their basement, there is a stash of iron ingots as well. 
Right, so you're going to want to fast travel to White Run now. Or any other. Well, you don't have to go to White Run, but I'm off to White Run. So now you should have a lot of soul gems and a lot of iron ingots. Alright. Um. I've just realised something. You're gonna need a soul trapping sword, and I'm almost out of charge. But you're gonna need a soul trapping sword, and. She should be able to sell you on. Damn it. Oh. You'll get used to her saying this and it'll start to really annoy you. Anyway, she'll be able to sell you. What helmet is that? Orkish. That is weird. She will um, be able to sell you, if you just keep waiting for two days, the a weapon it has or depletion or whatever it is. Alright, then, once you've got one of them, you can want to go to Chilfera Farm. Sorry if you can hear me sniffling, I've still got a cold. This method makes a lot of money as well. It made me, I think, 40,000. But because I wasn't far into the game, when I had to buy all the enchantments for the actual weapon making, um, my money went down so fast because I had to buy the weapons. But if you've played a lot of... Look at these, uh, my, my two amazing swords that I've made so far. But I think I can make better, so... I'm going to be doing that. You want to have a weapon with soul capture. I haven't bothered bringing one because I don't need anything. But you want to run down this riverside. And then you want to kill the mud crabs. And there's a lot of them, the first one's there. Wow, did I just fly? What happened to me? Oh, oh well. You want to kill the mud crabs, so there's one. And basically, you run all the way down this riverside, killing all the mud crabs, and just capturing their souls so it fills up your other soul gems because not all the ones that you've stolen are full. So, yeah, check both sides because there's two there, there's one there, I think. Now one handed's not that high at the moment. You can kill slaughter fish that are in the water as well. And that faggot. So yeah, basically you go all the way down until you get to a big bridge at the bottom. And then you duck I think it's about here. You don't go any further past that. But anyway, because there aren't any uh, mud crabs. Oh, then you meant to fast travel, but I can't right now because I've got enemies nearby. So yeah. Oh, this is getting annoying. All right, when you do fast travel, ooh, this will be a good. Very quick fight. So yeah, the wet there. That's an example of how powerful the weapons are. I'm playing on expert, and that cat just got shitted on. Basically, now what you're gonna want to do is smith a load of iron daggers, and then enchant them all with a stamina damage enchantment and then you want to sell the iron daggers so that'll get up your enchanting and your smithing 
and then you'll come back to her and you'll sell them. So basically, you come over here, um, smith the load of iron daggers, as you do, and then you'll go up to Dragon's Reach. For some reason, my B button's not working. Or any other button. What the hell has just happened? Ah! What has happened to me? I'm in the ground. Oh my god. Alright, I am so confused. Anyway, <laughs> what you want to do? What you want to do is go to up to drag. This doesn't normally happen. What you want to do is go to Dragon's Reach. I'm under White Run. What the fuck? Ha! Well, this has taken an unexpected turn. I'll show you the rest in part two. Alright, peace out guys. See ya.